What's up, everybody? Jason here for JazbeesCaseBreaks.com. 2020 Panini Prism Football Hobby 6-box half case break. Bigger teams number one just sold out, guys. And again, um, brand new release, guys. Pulling fire already early this morning. Let's continue to pull fire here. Um, and again, I'll be, actually, before I start this, as it says here, guys, get your squads early. These things are going to be shooting up in prices, and that's right, guys. Like I said, we get a certain amount at a, at a, at a first wave, which is always the cheapest. For you guys, uh, we might have to buy up in the secondary market just like everybody else. So as the prices continue to go up in the secondary market, the prices probably for the picker teams and random teams will go up. Um, that's just, just the way it is, supply and demand. So um, I know a lot of customers that got into the first two picker teams or whatever we had, we had it at a certain price probably. And like I said, that was way before the release day and it's been pushed back like so long and it's been going up ever since then. So um, obviously we try our best to keep the prices as as good as possible but everybody's prices will always be different um all around pick your teams will be high some will be low uh but hopefully um you guys can grab your squads and teams with us and we pull you guys fire so here you go so here is the first case or pick your team case oops Jeez, come on come on prison hobby stop being difficult So, we'll have two stacks. I don't even want to attempt to roll a die because I feel like that's just going to like fly everywhere. So, let's just use a virtual dice. And there's six boxes to the left, six boxes to the right. Let me quickly just um, switch scenes really quick. And we'll use a little uh, die roll. If I roll a one, two, three, it's going to go to the left side, four, five, six to the right side. So, good luck. Let's roll it. And it is a three. So one, two, three is going to be the left side. So which would be over here. These right here, I'm going to mark them right now, just so people know. These will be for pick your team number two. All righty, guys. There we go. And I showed you guys the customer names list. PYT number one, guys. Alright, also guys, really quickly, I feel like we also just sold out Impeccable. The R&B, so Impeccable will probably come after the team all. Alright, good luck everybody.
I've seen that Alex is pretty much gonna be an Alex and Juan break. Darrington Evans to 199. Denzel Mims. We got OJ Howard. To 149. And Patrick Queen is our first autograph for the Baltimore Ravens. Joshua Kelly, Chase Young. Uh, there was Eler and Byron Murphy. Wow, flashbacks. Green Scopes autograph. Dante Hall. 16 out of 35. Jalen Hurts and Brandon Ayuk. Uh, that is going to go to the uh, Chiefs and Oliver Smith. AJ Terrell, green scope. Out of 75. Fighter was Eler, Antonio Gandy Golden. Mike Gusecki. Uh, no, Ray, these are all hobby editions. Sam Hubbard. Jerry Judy. Tom Brady Brilliance. Jawan Jennings to 175. Jerry Rice, very nice. Little Ice, 1099. Kinlaw, Jason Huntley. Mark Brunel. Out of 149. Man, some of these cards are already getting stuck. Come on, man, it's release day. Ooh, nice color, Jalen Hurts. Very, very nice. 117 out of 249 for my Eagles. That's going to Catherine. Rugsy. There you go. Ryan, you have the whole day free, man, and this is torturing for you. <laughs> like, God damn it, Jason goes on early and my breaks are still not sold out. <laughs> oh, 
I hope I can break figure two number two for you, Ryan. I really do, man. Let him start, Dee Porter. If he's going to win us games, just do it already. Just do it. All right, next one. Sergio, everything shows, man. I don't know. I don't feel like you guys watch enough Eagles football to really make all that call. I just want the W, guys. Just want the W. Hell, the Eagles didn't even use the Miles Sanders. The dude had like five carries last week. Good God. Man. At this point, I'd rather have uh, Hurts play now, so that way everybody can see that he's still going to get sacked like five times a game. So that way uh, everybody realizes that it's not just on the one person. So, let's just do that already. Come on, Peterson. Just do that already. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Warren Moon. I actually kind of want Howie to go. I, I don't mind Peterson, to be honest, but I really want Howie to go. He's actually been there way longer than he should have. Think about it. Jeffrey Lurie must love this guy. The fact that uh, he was there throughout, what, like a little bit of Reed's career, right? To the point where... It, Chip Kelly came in, did good that one year. They decided to give him the GM job, and they still didn't fire him because they just said, oh, he'll still be the GM, but he's not going to be the GM. Then Chip Kelly still wins the next year, just doesn't make the playoffs. Uh, then the third year is the worst. Then he gets fired. Then they put Howie back in. So he's just been there a little too long already. You <laughs> really promoted to president, I know, right? So, I don't know. Uh, the drafting has not been that well for us. Tony Gibson. Fireworks. Oh, did I skip over Judy? But I think Peterson can be there for another year. Um, but I think Howie needs to go. Dallas Goddard, this guy needs to stay. Let's just trade Ertz. This guy's the real deal. But plus, guys, honestly, I agree with the D I agree with the JJ over DK. I think DK was a way better, more potential. You know, obviously it was just more his catching ability, but um, I think Rager's great, honestly. Um, I just think that the Eagles offense doesn't cater to their stars. They they don't get the ball more to their stars. You know what I mean? That That's really it. They just, they're, like, look at instance for, like, all these other rookies, like, uh, like, um, uh, what's his name? I forget. It's blanking me right now. Um, Justin Jefferson, per se. I think the offense caters to him perfectly. They get him the ball. They make plays for him. Whereas the Eagles don't really do that. You know? They really don't. And, yeah, they probably don't have enough time to get them the ball either. You know? But 
Again, that's just my view. Um, I just don't think their offensive fits all that. I also think uh, not having a real offensive coordinator kind of hurts. I wish we had Frank Wright back, uh, for sure. I wish we had a quarterback coach because we don't have one. Uh, so a lot of things need to be done. It's not just one person. So. Harold Landry. Ooh, Patty Mahomes coming up right now. You gotta go get my you gotta go get my Oregon Doug guy. Patty Mahomes right here to fifty three out of two forty nine. We have to go get uh Sewell from Oregon. Taylor. Ooh, what the hell is this? Instant Impact. That's a very nice looking car. Rugs. Shaquille Barrett. CJ Henderson. Gladney to 149. Shit, I hope so, Mike. That'd be awesome. <laughs> NFL should have minor leagues, to be honest. They should have. They should have adapted and took like those teams from the AFF, whatever. That would have been an awesome idea. Like you have these other teams play, and if they do well enough, they get called up. Up and down. I love that. I love a system like that. Tyler Boyd. All right, Max. Well, I haven't had time to go through the orders, but when I do, I'll add it to the schedule. And there's the guy that haunts me. DK Metcalf. Looks really nice. Like a camo. Five out of ten, DK. I met this guy at the rookie premiere last year. <laughs> that dude is that dude is a monster. Tyler Lockett. Clyde Edwards Elair. All right, two boxes down, guys. Let's move on to the next two. All right. So wait, that was two autos, right? Wait, 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 hold on. Did we miss an autograph? Or did I not just... Oh, glad he was the autograph. I was about to say. All right, next one. I can see some similarities to T.O. for sure. Definitely. I just wish, imagine if T.O., with the way social media is now, T.O. playing in this era the way he did, like, especially with my Eagles in 2004, oh my god. Man. That would have been 
ridiculously crazy. No, well, I mean, I, I get why. I mean, look, everybody has their own scouting report, right? But, you know, he was a little bit raw in college. You know? He would, uh, he was a little bit raw, right? Had a lot of drop ball, had a lot of drop balls. Uh, so, I mean, but he's definitely, I think with him, though, a lot of people have seen the upside of him. You know what I mean? A lot of upside with him, and, I mean, good, good for the, good for the Seahawks, man. Kyle Duggar. Ray says, what are your thoughts on the shorts I once gave him and his grown over rise? Oh, really? Wow. That's cool. I'm, I don't think he's a big problem. I mean, the defense is great. I mean, especially having to carry the offense, really? I mean, I think the defense is just fine. I really think we kind of know what the problem is. It's really more on the offense than anything. Brandon Graham's having a crazy career year, and he's like 33 now. Um, Fletcher Cox is always a beast. Um, I mean, what's his name admitted that he had a bad game against DK, but again, DK's on another level, even though it's only his second year. But Darius Slay, for the most part, has been pretty locked down. Um, I do think we need some linebacking help, although Singleton has done pretty well. But I think the defense has been pretty good. Like, I can't really blame him. Colk met to 99. We got a patch auto. Bears, CD Lamb, Anthony Gordon. So you're saying Oliver, there would have been no push-ups in the front yard if in today's media, Oliver? Probably right. He probably would have lost his career right then and there. Although I think he pretty much did. Right. Well, honestly, I don't know what you expect uh, him to do. He's not a defensive end, so he's not gonna get uh, he's not gonna get the 10, 15 sacks a year. Um, I, I I think Fletcher is is paid uh, very well for what he does. Drew Brees. Cole Kman, who had the Bears? Oh, D. Porter. Ah. Jack Ham, sensational signatures. Out of uh, 35. Look at that, Steelers. Mark with that one. Ooh, man, more Jalen Hurts color. Good God. 34 to 125. Oh, I see Eno Benjamin. This is a sign that there should be a Tua. Tua and a a, uh, a Herbie. I think that's the third sequence. Darnell Savage Jr. I know Tua and Herbert match up together, but I believe Eno Benjamin is the third sequence. You sold out of one of yesterday on Instagram? Mm hmm. Stephon Gilmore, T. Higgins. You took Gross Matos. Robert Woods. Oh, I'm getting scared. I don't think I see the Herbert in two no more. Come on, Eno. Don't 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 let me down.
Jalen Rager. Oh, it's not going to be here. Come on, Eno. I know two and Herbert are together, but I remember seeing Eno all the time. They're going to be both at the bottom? I mean, that means there's going to be a... I mean, there's still going to be some in here, but... Damon Arnett. Wow. This is the first time I'm not going to see it. Out of 99. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's two. Uh, scary. That was that was a close call. Oh my God! Is there not? Oh, oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. Arvini Jennings, Jeremy Chin, and there's that sweet, sweet Herbie. Sweet, sweet Herbie. Alrighty, guys. Halfway through. I know all over, but damn, man. I, I've, I've seen many Matisse Thibels without without Zion because they overflow to the next box. It's very sad. All right, next one, guys. Heroes on John Optic is definitely the three-player sequence in Optic for show. Also, Jake Fromm is a sequence with... Um, they're, like, legit always right after each other. I think Jake Fromm and Jerry Judy... Are right next to each other all the time. Does it really? In Spectra? That's funny. It's usually e easier to spot sequences than uh, heavy base, but good to know. Good to know. Daniel Jones. Out of 149. Jeff Gladney, Silver. And Captain Morgan. James Morgan. The 249 for the Jets going to Mark. We got Michael Pittman Jr., DJ Dallas. We got Jalen Smith. Lavancho song, Cam Akers. C D Lamb and Anthony Miller to one seventy five. Isaiah Simmons, Devin Duvernay. Trey 
Tremaine Edmonds to 125 for the Bills. And Joe Burrow. Uh, Bill's going to Sean Maddock, George Kittle. Hulk Matt, Jordan Love. Ed Reed. We got Rashawn Evans to 125. Zach Ertz. 249. Taylor. Ooh, Jerry Judy. How about that? EA with that one. Hurts to Goddard, Oliver. Hurts to Goddard. Hurts to Goddard. Tom Brady. Gardner Minshew. Out of uh, 175. J.K. Dobbins. And Donovan Peoples-Jones. Maybe Oliver, but I don't think Ertz is going to be here that much longer. Goddard's, I, I think Goddard is going to be the guy. He is, uh, he has, he has a, I don't know, he just, he's just a little bit faster than him. Uh, I just feel like he has a better connection as well. Ertz is, Ertz is still going to be one of my favorite Eagle tight ends of all time, but I just feel like Goddard fits this offense way better. I feel like when he catches the ball, the dude explodes. Like he gains, like he just gains like an extra ten yards, like in two seconds. But see, the one thing with Ertz is he's never been a he's never been like like I'm not trying to compare them to, but Ertz has never been a Travis Kelsey, right? When he catches the ball, he's gonna explode and get another twenty yards, making people miss. Ertz is your your Ertz is your kind of Jason Witten tight end. That's just gonna get open. Find us the sweet spot, and and you know maybe get a couple yards after the catch, you know what I mean. So, so Goddard has that capability of Travis Kelsey where he gets open and that dude's gonna explode, you know, for another 10, 15 yards. The one thing I don't like with Goddard though is that he needs to get better at, which I'm sure he will, is just kind of holding onto the balls because I feel like he's kind of fumbled a little too much. In his first couple years. But Ertz is great. I mean, I'm not saying he's not. It's just that I think that you have Goddard. He's going to get have to get paid at, at some point. You know what I mean? So, he's more he's more likely. I, I feel like you can't let him go. <laughs> I feel like you have to keep Goddard. And if that means letting go of Ertz and trading on more. Oh, we had him for 135. I compare more Ertz with uh, Jason Wooden, if anything. But the one thing that Ertz has proven, though, is like I said, he does get open. Uh, he does get a lot of targets, so when he's on the field... You have to you have to account for him. That's the that's the beauty of Ertz too, is that he's proven that he may not get crazy yards after the catch, but he's gonna get open. So you always have to keep an eye on him. Which he should be back this week. So 
that should keep the defense a little bit on their toes and, and hopefully that kind of helps a little bit. But Earth will always be a, a favorite. Especially after that touchdown catch in the Super Bowl. I think so too. He is number one. Definitely. But Eagles love to run the two tight end sets, so they'll both be out there at the same time. All right, next one. Christian Fulton. Out of 75. Chase Claypool. Sean Lee. Mika Fitzpatrick. Steelers. Tua Togovailoa. And uh, Jordan Jenkins. Alright, back to back to us. Dolphins going to John. And there's the Herbie. Eno's probably at the end of this box. It's it's not always Eno first. As long as you see an Eno, you should know that there's a Herbert or Tua at some point. Julian Oguara. Chin. Jeremy Chin. Nate Stanley. Purple. I love these purples. Well, especially when they color match. Kenneth Murray, CJ Henderson. What up, Johnny? How's it going, man? Rogers. Ooh, that's a nice little blue ice. Packers going to Josh. 48 out of 99. Xavier McKinney. Mike Evans. Saquon Barkley. Moss, C.D. Lamb. Tyrell Williams, Isaiah Coulter, Colin Johnson. Um, well, I mean, that just depends when it sells out, Johnny. If it sells out right now, I probably can definitely add it to my schedule and break it right now after uh, two quick breaks. But that just all depends if it sells out when I'm on or it sells out later when Joe's here. Henry Ruggs. Autograph for the Raiders. Where's the Raiders at? Who has the Raiders? EA. You got your receivers, EA, that you're looking for, I assume. Frank Clark. You took Gross Matos. And there's your Eno. And Anthony Gordon Green Scope. Out of 75. LaVisca Chenault. Oh, 
Never know, EA. You might add more. I think more color would be nice, you know? Some more color. Alright. Um, last box, guys. So, yeah. It's roughly going to take me about 45 minutes to break each each six boxer. So, like I guess said, buy early and often with this prism. We have, what, eight picker teams up, I want to say? Or is it six? No, it's eight, right? So, if I get done with at least one, two, or one, three, whatever sells out, Joe should at least be able to knock out all the way up to maybe six, I assume, maybe seven. And then Sean is going to do a super late night probably, so he's going to be here for a while. So, I said all these prisons will sell out today at some point. And don't worry, I'm sure Flawless will also sell out. I'm sure, um, you know, Allen and Gidget or Chrome will sell out. So... <laughs> I know, man. I know. I think the best thing, guys, is uh, ask for Jaspi gift cards for Christmas. Or for the holidays, I should say. Uh, flawless football. Not sure, man. That's the collegiate version you're talking about, right? I don't think we have any in stock. I don't know when we'll get that again. Um, but um, hopefully soon. Max, yes, Max, what a break for you in uh, random teams number two, man. That was that was ridiculous. Congrats, Todd Gurley. Devontae Adams. Zach Ertz. 125. Van Jefferson. Um, I think we've got a burrow. I think we've got a burrow base for sure. Got a co I see two T. Higgins. I see one Joe Burrow base. And then if there is any other color. Wow, not a burrow, but nice little camel to 25, Gino Atkins. Brian Edwards. Yeah, let's get number two done, guys. Pulled some nice stuff, but could be a huge, huge hit hiding in the last one. 
to 199, Jonathan Taylor. Very nice color there for the Indianapolis Colts. Going to Kurt. Javon Kinlaw. I think Cowboys are the last team, right? Last ball Mojo Cowboys. I haven't been a crazy Cowboy here yet. I see some points. Jesus. All right, 900 points, guys. KJ Hamler, Henry Ruggs. Matty Mahomes. And Keenan Allen at a 75 green scope. Oh, is there two? Oh, Cowboys Patriots. Well, Cowboys the biggest team, which has a big rookie. And then, of course, Patriots. Not too pricey, but haven't seen much Patriots either, guys. So, actually, at least if, unless there's Patriots and Cowboys in this last little stack, that should give more people uh, a better, clearer picture of potentially what you can get in the second half. Now, where there's no guarantees, but... So we'll find out. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Michael Warren to forty nine. Purple power. I do not know who Michael Warren is. Ah, played at the University of Cincinnati. University of Cincinnati here. Donovan Peoples Jones and Jalen Rager. Swift, Earl Thomas. And there we go, guys. That was the break. So a lot of rookies. A um, lot of color, of course. I mean, you guys know how much color comes out of here. This is the beauty of hobby. Um, so much color. Very, very beautiful color this year as well. I really love that the silver's really popped this year. Really, really nice. Uh, we got that Michael Warren just right now. So we did get 900 points, guys. So everyone has a shot at that. So you got Michael Warren, Anthony Gordon, Otto, Henry Ruggs, Jerry Judy, Don Peoples Jones, Jack Ham, Hertz Color, Tua, Herbert Bass, Patch Auto Cole Komet, Jeff Gladney, DK Metcalf to 10, Patrick Queen, Dante Hall, and a little Hertz Color there. And then um, I believe there should be some more Herberts and, and uh, Tua's over here as well. Is this the stack I showed you guys? Yeah, it was really nice instant impact, which I don't think it's numbered actually. It just looks like it's a gold. Patty Mahomes color. Love. There's the Herbert. I mean, sorry, the Burrow. Hmm. Now we pull two Herberts. Two Tua's. I might be over here on these stacks, actually. These are all the base rookies, too. There's another burrow. So we actually have two burrows. Maybe there wasn't. Oh, look, there's a stack over here. Yeah, 
I mean, there was two Herbies here. Yeah, it's over here. Okay. Cool. Yeah, well, there you go, man. Um, let's do that randomizer there. Jordan Loves? No, I seen a Jordan Love in here. There was a base Jordan Love. I mean, if you're looking for color and stuff, yeah. I mean, there wasn't no Herbert color or anything like that either. Alrighty, guys. So, here you go. Let's put this to the side over here. And uh, let's do that randomizer. Do you have him in the second half, Mark? I feel like you do, though, right? I feel like the second half could be really, really strong for a lot of these bigger rookie quarterbacks teams. And who knows? I mean, Cowboys sitting there. C.D. Lamb. Could be some C.D. Lamb in there, too. Got you, man. No, you're right. It did sell out right away. Man, when we posted up Pikachu's 1 and 2, it was a long time ago now. <laughs> Thinking about it now. It was a long time ago. Yes, all cards ship on this, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, initially, we had posted um, uh, what a price that we got, and that must have been a great price, obviously, <laughs> for us to post it like that. Probably found a couple of places to sell them like that. But yeah, the price point definitely has, has jumped up for a lot of these teams, to be honest. All right, guys, so let's randomize the customer names in this break to give away the 900 points. There's everybody there. And uh, let's click the dice roller. You got a three and a five eight times. Good luck. Number one gets 900 points. One. Two. Three, four, five, three and a five, yeah, six, seven, eight. Gail, there you go. Did I not do the right one? Oh, Patriots. Couldn't find it. There it is. Alright, appreciate it, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.